Can you sing it together? 369, what a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins to grieve to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, a place in open for fear. Oh, I need this pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have you tried and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can you find a friend so faithful? Who will all our sorrow share? She just knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy ladder? Crumble with the Lord of care. Press the Savior still our refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friend despise forsake Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arm he'll take his shield. Thou will find us all there. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this uh, 10 weeks of marriage course from tonight. Give us your grace and your mercy. I know all of the world is family was shaken already. Many family are broken family. But Lord Jesus, through study of this marriage course, you can restore our family. Restore our brother, sister, especially husband and wife. Was anybody still single, they can prepare well to be a good husband and to be a good wife. Dear Heavenly Father, we need your grace and your mercy. Would you bless us mightily uh, for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Maybe sit, yeah. Everybody have the note, yeah. I think my sister suggested me charge the 10 pound. I think the uh, Holy Spirit spoke to me just to give everything freely. <laughs> I receive it freely, freely. Uh, I share with you. Actually, I used to, I used to, to charge you with this, uh, the things. Yeah, you can take it. Yeah, this is yours. But let you know, every Wednesday evening you need to bring in this one. Yeah, please. Uh, I don't make it again and again for you guys. When you collect it, you can take it to your home and bring back to the church again, and then you can use it. Yeah. Praise God. I think it's a uh, unfortunately. Anybody knows how many percent of the family are broken family in UK? The divorce, divorce rate. Anybody knows? In UK, more than fifty percent. <laughs> if two couple married, one couple divorce. This is the situation. It's costing the country forty billion pounds. Yeah, can you imagine per year forty billion pounds? Oh, I don't know that. Can you imagine this is the the happening? But you know, in these days, uh, I don't go for again the, about the LGBTQ. Well, God made Adam and Eve. Do you know that? God made man and woman. The marriage means 
man and woman. No man and man, no woman and woman. No, man and woman. This is the 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 way. And then um, can you look at the uh, book of Genesis? Genesis chapter two. Genesis chapter two verse eighteen. If you have the Bible, look at the Genesis chapter two verse eighteen. Yeah. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 the Lord God said it is not good for the man to be alone I will make a helper suitable for him thou the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the beasts of the field and all the birds of the air he brought them to the man to see what he would name them and whatever the man called each living creature that was the name. So the man gave name to all the livestock, the bird of the air, and all the beasts of the field. For Adam no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's lips and uh, closed up and placed with the flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the leaf he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of a man, for this legion of man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. The man and his wife were brought naked, and they felt no shame. This is how God made Adam and Eve. Do you understand? God made Adam, and God say, according to verse 18, it is not good for the man to be alone. It will make a helper suitable for Adam. Do you know that God made Eve for husband Adam? Yeah? Is a Eve is a helper. Do you understand that? The woman is what? Helper. If you're a marriage man and woman, especially a marriage woman, you are the helper for your husband. And if you are a single man, single woman, especially single woman, you are a what? Helper for your future husband. How many understand? Yeah, Bible didn't say that man is helper for his wife. That this is the order. This order. Can I ask something? When Adam and Eve committed the sins, what is the God curse for uh, Adam? Anybody knows? Look at uh, Genesis chapter three. That's right, yeah. Which verse is it? Yeah. Genesis chapter 3. Okay. The man, look at. There's a God curse the Adam. Look at the verse 17. Genesis chapter 3, verse 17. The, to Adam, he said, because you listened to your wife and ate from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat of it. Curse is ground because of you. Through painful toil you will eat of it all the days of your life. What is the curse for Adam? He must work very hard with his uh, uh, sweat. This is uh, what God spoke to uh, Adam. And what is uh, Eve? Eve is uh, the curse. Anybody knows which verse is it? Can you see that? Look at verse 21. The Lord made a uh, garment of skins and uh, for Adam and his wife. Fifteen? Oh, yeah, it's 15, yeah. 
Uh, this is uh, this woman's uh, cause. I will put the enmity between you and the human. Which verse is it? Yeah, can you read for me, please? To the woman, he said, I will greatly increase your pains in childbearing. With pain, you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. Yeah, there's no 315. This is uh, one of the verses. Uh, which verses? 315 is very famous. I will put enmity between you and uh, you woman, which is talking about the Jesus. Do you understand 315? Is not 315. Which was is it? 16. Ah, 16. 316, sorry. 316, sorry. How many per curse for woman? Number one? Your pain in childbearing, number one. Number two? Desire for your husband. Number three? He will rule over you. Oh, woman, you happy about that? How many housewife? Sister, okay, I ask you, you happy three, three things? You already deliver the baby. This is actually, there's no curse, it's a blessing actually. You deliver the two children, That's yeah? The and then it's a pain, I know that. But the another one is what? Desire for your husband, yeah? Do you have a desire for your husband? Yeah, I ask you, Sister Lilia, also Liliana, yeah? yeah? You, you happy about that? Yeah? <laughs> you have to do it. Another one is what? You know, uh, your husband will rule over you. You happy about that? Your husband will rule over you. Yes or no? <laughs> if my husband rule over me, I don't happy. If my husband is, uh, you know, take, look like take control of my life, I don't happy. That is a totally wrong attitude. These are three things, three things. You know, deliver the baby with the pain, yeah? It's a great blessing. And then desire for your husband is a great blessing. Number three, let your husband rule over you. It's a great blessing. But unfortunately, in the, these days, uh, women, they don't like uh, these kind of things. <laughs> in the, you know, many women, they don't want to, they, they don't want to the, deliver a child, you know that? In the young generation, when they married, okay, we can marry, but I don't want to get the child. Why? Because of, uh, you know, you know, we, we enjoyed our life. Even they think about, uh, even if you have a child, yeah, if our child is uh, you know, suffering, and uh, therefore we don't want to have a child. That kind of attitude. And then people, they don't want to, especially women, they don't want to rule, their husband, they rule over their wife. Main problem in this world, uh, the you know, woman they don't want to submit to husband. That is why many family are broken, unfortunately. Okay, but look at uh, your content. Can you see the content? You can see the courtship commandment number one. Number two, building strong foundation, ready for marriage. Number three, marriage is a covenant and union with God. Number four, love is action and the power of forgiveness. Number five, communication is the key and thank God for sex. This is the one two we can study together. Can you look at the next page? What picture is your marriage painting? Yeah, what picture? No intimacy with Christ before commitment. No intimacy before marriage, uh, the, uh, before marriage uh, commi commitment. Christ is the head of the church. Can you look at Ephesians chapter 5, verse 23? Ephesians 5, verse 23. Jesus is what? Head. Ephesians 5.23 Somebody read for me, please. Uh, Thank you. Husband is what? Head of a wife. And Christ is the head of the church. 
Unfortunately, if you, I mean, woman recognize that husband is head of the head of the the wife, yeah, you have to respect the head, yeah. Um, some ladies say, if if my husband the head, I'm a neck. I can shake the, <laughs> <laughs> I can shake whatever I like. <laughs> Please don't do it. <laughs> we have to respect the head. And then the husband is the the head of the wife. It's not my word, it's the word of God. And church is the what? Subject unto Christ. Uh, look at the verse 24. Ephesians 5 is uh, talking about husband and wife. Look at the verse 24. Now it is the church is submit to the Christ, so also wives should submit to their husband in, in what? Everything. In everything. In everything. Can you imagine? We have to respect the husband and submit to your husband in everything. You might ask question, if my husband asks me to steal something from my neighbor, should I submit it to my husband? Because submit to, to husband in everything. No, you know that what is the will of Father in heaven. You know the Ten Commandments, do not steal. Do you understand? But if your husband, can I encourage you, if your husband asks you to do something, yeah, but if that is not sin, please submit. Can I say again? If your husband asks you, let you go for holiday for three days in Isle of Wight. <laughs> <laughs> and then don't say to your husband, no, I need to do something. Well, you know, it's not coming to the sins go for holiday. Did you understand? It's a, for example, I know we'll go to we'll go to where well, we'll go to Isle of Wight uh, from 18 to 20 of this month, uh, not for holiday, <laughs> for mission. Uh, we're gonna preach the gospel in that area. But anything your husband asks you to do something, if that is not sin, please submit. Can you say amen? Yeah, you don't want to say amen. <laughs> I, I just say, this is not my word, this is the word of God. This is, look at the verse 24. All the ladies, ladies, all the ladies, can you read for me? Ephesians 5, verse 24. You ready? One, two, three. Can you say amen? amen. You happy about the scripture? Yeah? Don't, don't be upset by the scripture. Oh, your wives should submit to their uh, their husband in everything. Oh, I don't want to do it. If you say I don't want to do it, you'll be trouble. I'm so sorry. Do you know, if some woman is a so strong character, very strong character to dominate, to control the family. If her husband also has a strong character, I'm telling you, is a big, big fighting, big argument all the times. Is no peace in the household. Therefore, any Jesus, Jesus, I mean, Jesus loves the church. We want to talk about husband. Husband loves the wife. And the church submit to Jesus. The wife submit to uh, husband. Look at the Christ also loved the church. Look at the verse 25, Ephesians 5, verse 25. All the men, can you lead together? One, two, three. Husband, love your wife just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Husband, love your wife as what? Yeah. Christ died for the church, actually. Give up for her means died. Brother Julio, you are ready to die for your wife? Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Well done. If somebody asks me, yes, I'm ready to die for my wife. Yeah. Husband, do you know? Problem is, the husband does not love the wife. That is the main problem. If husband love wife, as Jesus love the church, a marrying peace in, in, in their family. Do you know? Two things God require. Wives submit to husband. God asks the wife, submit to husband. Or as God asked the husband, love your wife as Jesus died on the cross for the church, for the people. Yeah, You can see the verse 25. Yeah, Give himself up for her. 
you can give your life for your wife. Husbands are to love their wives. Salvation is a blood covenant. You see, blood covenant. Look at the Luke chapter 22, verse 20. Somebody read it for me. Luke chapter 22, verse 20. Who want to read it for me? Yeah. Yeah. Between Jesus and disciples, there is a blood covenant. Can I encourage you? Between you and your husband is a blood covenant. Marriage is a blood covenant. Intercourse, you know, there's a bleeding. Is a intercourse. This is a very very important to husband to wife. Is a blood covenant. It's not easily to break. It's not possible. It's a blood covenant. Is a, you know, they can die for each other. Yeah. Do you know the uh, gangsters? Yeah. When they when they when they uh, join the gang member, do you know what they do? They try to do it a blood covenant. They cut it uh, somewhere and they're bleeding, and then all the gang members uh, cut it uh, somewhere and they make it uh, some blood. And then mix together, we are one, like a one, one gangsters. That kind of blood covenant. Blood covenant is a. Do you know there is a life in the blood? Do you know that? There is life in the blood. Therefore, where there is a blood, there is life. When you and your husband get the blood covenant, which means if if you die, I die. If you live, I live. That kind of uh, attitude. Blood covenant. It's not possible to break it, this blood covenant. Look, Christ will not divorce the un unfaithful church. Church is unfaithful all the time. Yeah? Do you understand? <laughs> you are a church. Jesus is always faithful. But you and me, many times you are unfaithful before our bridegroom, Jesus. And But thanks be to God, he never ever give up. He never divorced the unfaithful church. Look, adultery, no scripture reason for divorce. Actually, you know, in the New Testament, it look like only one reason you can uh, divorce uh, by adultery. But actually, Bible not supporting for people to divorce. You don't need to make it any excuse. You know, you can look at the uh, many divorced family. Why you divorce? Oh, my husband, blah, 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 my wife, blah, all kind of things. No, you cannot make excuse. Do you understand? Look at the Matthew chapter 19. If you have the pen, you can write down on your note. This, this is your note. Now you can write down anything, inspiration in your heart. You can write down on your note. Matthew chapter 19, verse 4. Matthew 19, verse 4 say, Haven't you heard... Uh, so haven't you read uh, he replied uh, that at the beginning of the creator made uh, them male and female and said for the this region a uh, man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh two become what one flesh two become one flesh so they are no longer two. They are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. You know, Bible say two become one flesh. One flesh is very important. Bible never say two become one spirit. No, no. Two become one soul. No, no. Two become one flesh. Flesh is very, very important. Do you know? The Apostle Paul, he write down about our human. Our human made it three areas: spirit, soul, and body. And then, do you know, according to the scripture, two become one flesh. But if you look at the verse six, there are no, um, there are no longer two, but one. And when marriage, yeah, no longer two, but one, yeah. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man no separate 
No one separate this couple, husband and wife. No one, no one, no one separate. But you may argue, why, why the man and woman separate while in a divorce? Why? If God made, if God joined this man, man and woman, yeah, as a wonderful couple, why these people they divorce or even separate? Can you comment? Do you think it's a, from the beginning? You can say God never ever, if they divorce, that means from the beginning God never joined them as husband and wife. That is why they can divorce. I say God hate what? God hate divorce. God hate divorce. God hate divorce. Therefore, you know, in these days, uh, people they don't marry actually. They just live together as a as a couple, you know, as a boyfriend and girlfriend. They live together. I met uh, one one couple. They live for seventeen years as a boyfriend girlfriend. They have four children. <laughs> they look like a family, husband and wife. They they never married. I spoke to them continually. Their parents are missionary. I approach, I preach the gospel for them. Get married. Thank God. After 17 years later, they married. <laughs> they just live together as a boyfriend and girlfriend, not husband and wife. Guess why these people, they just live as a boyfriend and girlfriend? Anybody knows? You never think about it, yeah? They don't want. Yeah, is a, they spend a lot of money if they marry the husband and wife. Yeah, it's a very complicated about uh, their possession, about all these things, because of money issues. They don't want to marry. Money, many is money issues. Therefore, in the last day, people they just live as a boyfriend girlfriend, but they never marry. They never marry. Even, you know, when the children are born, and then even women want to, you know, keep the the child's name as a mother's uh, mother's surname, <laughs> no father's surname. Therefore, we have to study the word of the law. You know, people, if they, my people, I perish because of what? Lack of knowledge. If you're studying about the marriage and then you don't make a mistake you can study before marriage you can prepare before marriage it, that is very uh, that is very important the church and christ last as long as at he lives marriage marriage is to last till that do us apart do you understand marriage is how long until that until that we cannot separate. You cannot. You know, whenever I conduct a wedding ceremony, I speak to them. You know, you know, this lasts until that. Do us deep uh, part. We never separate. You never finish. Okay, look at your note. What picture did Adam and Eve marriage paint? Adam went into deep sleep to get a bride. Jesus went into deep sleep have that and to get a bride, which is the church. Have you heard about that? Uh, someone made anastatics. Do you know anastatics? Who, who is the one to found this anastatic? Scottish doctor, Mr. Jefferson. Mr. Jefferson is a loyal doctor for loyal family over 100 years ago. He's a wonderful born again Christian. When you look at the book of Genesis, and Adam sleep very deeply, and God removed what? Leave from Adam. Did Adam screaming because so painful? No, Adam sleep well, and uh, when you wake up, woman is beside him. <laughs> <laughs> and then as he's a medical doctor, he is research, research, he discovered anesthetics. Do you know? There's no new under the heaven. Do you know that? Under the heaven, there's no new. Who discovered anesthetics? Mr. Jefferson. But God already answered in the book of Genesis. Anybody heard about that um, uh, ultrasound? You know, sound to break the stone. Who made it? 
Yeah. Anybody knows the scripture? Yeah. Jericho wall. Jericho wall destroyed by what? Sound. By sound. There's ultrasound made by Jewish doctor in, in, in Israel. And they discover. Because everything, if you're, um, if you're an artist, if you're a medical doctor, please, please read the book of Genesis. It's an amazing creation things. Especially if you're uh, some designer, or artist, or a painter, or even if you are the songwriter, or please read the book of Genesis, amazing creation. Adam went into deep sleep, and God bring the, his wife Eve. Look, Adam sighed open up to get bride. Jesus side was open up to get bride. Do you remember? Blood of Jesus come out from his side, from lips. Blood and water come out. And then, very interesting, God removed the leaves from Adam, not from the, the feet, not from somewhere. Do you understand? Why God removed the leaves? Equal, 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 do you know? Leaves, leaves. Yeah, if, if Adam discover uh, then if God remove the his one 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 toe from feet, Adam said to his wife, you know, you know, God made you from my you know bottom of <laughs> <laughs> feet. <laughs> no, he shouldn't do it. God removed his leaves. Same, equal, husband wife. Don't say that. You know, in the book of uh, I mean, New Testament, book of Corinthians, you know, man come from woman, woman come from man. Did you know that? Yeah, every human being born from woman. Yeah, but God made Adam first, and woman come out from man. Uh, did you understand? We have to respect each other's. Look, Adam awake from the deep sleep, and she just awake from the deep sleep of that, which is the last lecture. You can see that this is amazing, the picture of Adam and our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus conquered the death. Did you know that? Jesus overcome the death, overcome the darkness. And Eve was brought uh, uh, to Adam as his bride. And the church will be brought to Jesus. Yeah, We call the rapture. What does it mean rapture? Yeah? You're going to meet Jesus in where? In air, in air. In there. How, how many of you is exciting to meet Jesus in there? Yeah, yeah, very exciting. Somebody say that oh oh I'm I'm very happy. I think everybody fly and um, I fly very slowly because so heavy. <laughs> Don't worry <laughs> about your weight and it's, it's a supernatural power. Instantly you can meet yeah, Jesus, and then um, it's a very funny. And then global like this, uh, uh, circle around there. Uh, if Jesus, uh, I believe that Jesus will come back to the sky of a mountain of olive. Because uh, Jesus say, I mean, angels say to them, when you see Jesus, he will come back again. Same position, which means same area, same position. It's the sky of Jerusalem. Therefore, on the other side of the Jerusalem, they don't see Jesus. Do you, do you understand global like the circle round? But you know this event is a supernatural event. Supernatural. Everybody will s will see Jesus. Everybody, and then suddenly, suddenly, those who are born again, those who recognize that Jesus, their Lord and Savior, they can have a rapture in 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 the sky. How many are exciting to see Jesus? I think this is my prayer, not only my prayer, I think this is uh, my belief that in my generation, Jesus will come. How many believe that? Yeah, In your generation, I think it's a very, very uh, it's, uh, important to, to see Jesus. I think it's a, he'll come back very, very soon through this science. You know, COVID-19, the whole world is a shaken. Do you understand? And uh, this is a sign. Look, Eve was uh, brought to the Adam made his bride. Church will be brought to Jesus in the rapture. Eve 
took uh, Adam's name and the church took on Christ's name. We call it a Christian. 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 Yeah. Adam never divorced his wife Eve. Christ never divorced his church. Did you know that? Yeah. yeah. In these days, uh, many, many couples divorce because uh, they can make any reason. You know, character different, and then you know, lifestyle different. Oh, this man commit adultery. All kind of things. You can make excuses, million excuses to divorce. But can I encourage you? Jesus never divorced from the church. If you are still single man and woman, please never ever think about the divorce. Never ever even speak about the divorce when you get married. Look. Adam and Eve's marriage last until that. Christ and the church last as long as Jesus uh, does. Resolve in your heart that enforced. Um, uh, 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 your marriage will be a true picture of Christ and the church. Yeah. You know, I'm a married man. This uh, December I'll be a 25th anniversary 25 years 25 years i think in uk if somebody married for 40 years or 50 years it is a miracle in uk i'm not only uk all of the world in these days but only by the grace of god not by my own power not by my own strength only by the grace of god i've been married for 25 years i think that's pastor sarah how long have you been married 40 years? 36 years. Can you give the big club opening for well done, 36 years. Well done, well done. How about uh, uh, Liliana? Ask Julia. Ask Julia, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Julia. 15 years. Yeah. 15 years, well done. <laughs> you forget, yeah. 14, 14, 14 years, 14 years. I think you, your wedding day is same my wedding day, yeah? Seven On the 7th of December, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. Can you make the 7th of December? I still remember. <laughs> it was very cold on that day. Heavy snow. <laughs> Heavy snow in South Korea. Very hot in Bolivia. Yeah. <laughs> very hot. <laughs> really hot. 7th of December. December is the hottest month. Really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my wife's place uh, uh, almost uh, uh, in uh, North Korea is between the North and South Korea, which is Gangwon-do, North. My home is uh, Suncheon, is south of uh, South Korea. At that time, 13 hours journey by car. Long journey. Almost 25 years ago, not in high speed train, I think. And then I was praying to our Lord, where is the best place to get married? In the Middle East, Seoul, Seoul capital city, we uh, married in the, in Seoul, Seoul, Korea, not in South Suncha, not in Gangwon-do, Sokcho, no. And praise God. Can you look at the page number three? Christian fellowship between the brothers and sisters during courtship. Maturity in courtship. What of brother and sister? Can you look at the Psalm 133? It's one of my favorite Psalms, is 133. Why? About the unity. When Satan working, there's th there is no unity. This unity come. But when the Holy Spirit working, there's a amazing unity. Psalm 133. How good and pleasant it is when brothers living together in unity. It is like a precious oil poured out on the on the head and running down on the bread. The morning running down on Aaron's bread, down upon the uh, collar of his uh, loaves, and it is at the dew of Hermon, and were falling on Mount Zion, for there is a Lord between his uh, blessing, even his even life forevermore. 
when you have a strong unity in the household, do you know what God do? God command what? Blessings. Can I say again? If you have a strong unity in the household, God command a blessing. Blessing will come in. Do you know Satan is uh, very clever. Satan tried to bring the disunity in any situation, especially in your family. How many experiences Satan tried to bring the disunity in your family? But we need the kicking out. Kicking out in Jesus' name. Spirit of disunity, get out in Jesus' name. Can you say amen? amen. Get out from our church in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We have to kicking out. That is why how good and precious it is whom brothers and sisters yeah, live together in unity. Yeah? Brother and sister is like a husband and wife. Live together in unity. How wonderful. God command a blessing. Yeah. I know that I'm husband, you know, Holy Spirit grieving. If I argue with my wife, yeah, and then some tension and disunity, Holy Spirit grieving. Uh, I heard some testimony, one couple, they live in Jerusalem. Do you know what was happening? This husband and wife, they are honeymoon time, they married. Beautiful, they enjoyed honeymoon time. But in front of their window, the dove, the you know, dove come and sit. Actually, two dove sit uh, in front of their window side. Anybody knows the the um, representative dove is what? Yeah, Holy Spirit was a peace, peace, peace dove. Do you know this dove will sit and enjoy all this? They look like uh, they make a sound. Uh, dove, they look like they love one another. But one day, this man and wife were big, big fighting in his house. Guess what happened? Dove run away. <laughs> very, very interesting. I heard that testimony. When husband and wife were fighting, the dove is gone away. And then it's no coincidence uh, this happening. I think they knew that. Even the animal, <laughs> even, of course, they live in Jerusalem. The, you know, when the Spirit of God lives inside of you, He wants to make unity. Yeah, unity is very, very important. I know we have the ladies' room when some strange women stay together. <laughs> How do you feel if there's no unity? It's uncomfortable. Do you understand? In the same house, if there's no unity, uncomfortable. Why are you uncomfortable? Because of, you know, Satan make you uncomfortable. If you have a strong unity in the church, in your household, heaven is in their house. Heaven is not far away. Heaven is in your family. Therefore, pray for unity. Can I look at the verse 1 once again? Psalm 133, verse 1, lead together. 1, 2, 3. How good and pleasant it is when brothers and live sisters together uh, in unity. Okay? When brothers live together in unity, how precious, how wonderful. It's a great blessing. Look at, uh, should we be open to God and his word? Genesis chapter 24, verse 63. Somebody read for me, Genesis chapter 24, verse 63. Thank you. Who is this man? Isa. Isa. The Bible mentioned about the meditation is the first time in the history of the world. This man, Isa, he meditated the word of the law. And then God sent his uh, two servants uh, from the Avram and brought what? Brought the brought the, his wife, the well, Isaac's wife. What is her name? Rebecca. Rebecca. It's very interesting. If you look, look, verse 263. He went out to the field one evening to meditate. And as he looked up, he saw Camel approaching. Rebecca also looked up and saw Isa. She got down and from her Camel and asked the servant, Who is that, the man in the field coming to meet us? He is my master. 
The servant answered, "So she took, so she took her veil and covered herself." Then the servant told Isaac all he had done. Isaac brought her into the tent of his mother Sarah,、uh, and、uh, he married Rebekah. So she became his wife, and he loved her and Isaac, and was、uh, comforted after his mother's、uh, death. Rebekah married with Isaac. But did you know that Rebecca she get a confirmation to get married with this man, Isaac? Do you remember when Abraham sent his two servant、uh, to find out、um, his daughter-in-law? Yeah, for his son Isaac, and、uh, Rebecca she is a very strong woman. She collected、uh, what water from where, and then do you know what was happening? These、uh, two servant、uh, ask a question. Give us some water, and she said yes. We can give the water, but two servants、uh, they test how they test if if she offer the water for our camel, she is the right woman, and she voluntarily willingly she offer the water for camels of you know Abraham's servant, and there's confirmation. You know you have to you have to know how how you prepare. And to get married, your husband, your wife, get the confirmation is very, very important. I listened to the one lady testimony today. One Korean lady, her father died. When her father died,、uh, she was so suffering, difficult. And then one man, he's he's a doctor, medical doctor. He and the, this girl, they love one another for four years of dating. And then the doctors' parents they don't happy with this girl. And then finally, because the parents are strongly against, they cannot marry. But this girl, she had、uh, some operation. She was in in the bed. She prayed to God. When she wake up after, you know, like like the operation. When she wake up, God gave her desire to pray things. God said to her, "What should I do for you?" And she prayed to God, Lord God, give me good husband. <laughs> This is a prayer. Give me good husband, and then give me inspiration, because she's a songwriter. Give me inspiration, revelation. I can make the songs for Your glory. She pray. And then, the, do you know how she married the one man? She want to. She want to upgrade her keyboard. Her keyboard is a very old one. She bought another keyboard by second hand, you know, in Korea, Jungo Nara, a second hand shop. When she collected, that guy, that guy who delivered the keyboard, is very kind. Not only kind, he is a born again Christian. They talk to each other、so、for three hours, and then she knew that this is the man. Get married. And then, do you know who is this man's parent? This this man's father is a writer of the, you know, in Korean Korean drama, Dae Jang, and then all kind of very famous, you know, Korean drama writer. His father is a very good born again Christian. And I discover somebody who prayed to the Lord gave me confirmation. This man Rebecca, she married Isaac. Yeah. Anybody knows how old he is when Isaac married? Forty years old. Well done. And、uh, if you look at the verse twenty, chapter twenty-five,、uh, Genesis chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-one. Isaac prayed to the Lord on behalf of his wife because she was barren. The Lord answered his prayer, and his wife Rebecca became pregnant. Actually, this is my prayer request. <laughs> You know, I have been married for 25 years. I still pray to God for my own child. <laughs> How many believe that God can do something? Yeah, you know, I I pray, but most of women in the Bible, like Eli, Eli, Elizabeth or Hannah, or you know, every woman, they pray to God for themselves and get a baby. But this particular verse, Isaac pray, be careful. 
his wife, and then she conceived a baby, twin, twin. Who are the twin? Isu and Chago. You see, and I, I pray to the Lord, help me, <laughs> I pray. But get the confirmation is very, very important. I pray for your daughter merely, and God will give you a good wife. I good, sorry, good, sorry, good husband, good husband, very good husband. I believe that, you know, you have to get the confirmation. Oh God, my son-in-law will respect my daughter, really. And then not only respect and uh, supporting for her and bless her, and then, you know, encourage her and then uphold her, that kind of prayer. When you pray, especially the mother's prayer is so powerful. Pray, pray for your children, pray. God will give the best husband and best wife through your prayer. Yeah? Sister Liliana, did you, did you pray for your children to get the best man and best woman? Yes. You already started praying. Don't tell me, oh, my children are still five, six, seven. No, no, no. Still, you can pray now. You can sow the seed into your children's life. Father God, would you bless my daughter Sarah's husband will be a wonderful man, man of God. Right. My son Isaac's, uh, you know, wife will be great, um, you know, you know, uh, uh, woman of God. You can pray for your children. Yeah. Parents never give up to pray for your children. Can you see? Should be mature in character. Uh, the character is very, very important. When, when you get married, uh, you know, unfortunately, people they get married because of their qualification because of their job because of their some riches or some fame or their anything but don't look at all this area look at their character character is very very important humble character character of Jesus should have an understanding of the difference in which uh, mindset and heart and uh, gender sex or males and female yeah, understanding of the mindset should do away with all selfish nature, behavior, and character. Yeah, unfortunately, if you marry the selfish man or selfish woman, you'll be big trouble. <laughs> do you know that most of the people they are so selfish in the last day? People love themselves and love what? Yeah, people they love love themselves and they love the money in the last day. It's very important in the last day, please uh, pray unto God, Lord, help me, help me. Meet with a you know, sacrificial man and woman, not selfish man and selfish woman. Must uh, be uh, at least uh, 20 years age. I mean, this is, uh, I already conducted uh, some people 16 years, or 17 years, and then I don't know how old the average to married in, in India in these days. Really? 18? Oh, young. I see. How about uh, Nigeria? 24. 24. Yeah, 24. How about the Korea? Yeah, 35 now. It's very. You know, Korea. It, 25 years ago, yeah, I was 28. My wife's 25. That is average. Man, 28. Woman, 25. That is average. How about the Bolivia? How old? Average age to men. I get married when I was 21. <laughs> I mean, is it early or? My sister, she got married when she was 16. Nearly 80, 20, okay. This is normal, yeah? Okay. That's quite a year. I think in UK, maybe around the you know, young age. I think it's a, today is the first day. I think you can finish up to now here, yeah? Any question? Any question? Any comment? No? How many want to get married? Do you want to get married? I think so. 
I think, okay, it's not, don't be ashamed to be married there. I can pray for you. Yeah. I think if my sister Lillian, you are going to get married, yeah? You don't know, okay. Yeah, even in all New Testament, Paul say, you know, I wish everybody live like me. It's good for you. If you married a man and married a woman, you try to please your husband, you try to please your wife. You can save your energy, save your time, save everything. For Jesus, that is why Paul say, you know, live like me as a single. Of course, you know, no testament is not good. Man live, uh, live as a single now. But in New Testament, what Paul say, live like me as a single is good for you. But you know, especially we're gonna continue studying. If you if you don't have, uh, if you have rust, you know, rust, sexual rust. If you have, get married, get married. If you don't have that kind of a desire, I think it's uh, even it's good for for you to live as a single man, a single woman, to serving Jesus. I met one guy. He's uh, just over forty years old, man. Wonderful man. Good Christian. He's a he's a very handsome man, and then he he has he finished a good university, and then good guy, wonderful. Everything is a physically, mentally, financially, every area is a very nice. But I encourage him. Are you single or married? He said, I'm single. Then I ask him, Do you want to get married? He said, No, thank you. I say, Why? He say, Jesus Christ come back very soon. <laughs> I want to give my life to Jesus totally for for second coming of Lord Jesus. I never ever seen somebody speak like that. That is the first man in my life. That man he spoke to me very clearly. I don't want to get married because I want to serving Jesus with the whole my life. I was very inspired. I never seen somebody spoke like this. Yeah, he's a he's a wonderful, humble man of God. I, I admire him. I thanks be to God how God uh, bless him. He loved uh, serving Jesus with the whole heartedly, all his life. Thanks be to God. I think it's, uh, Paul say in New Testament is is nothing wrong to get married. Or it's nothing wrong you live as a single. But we have to study together before you get married. And um, preparation, preparation is very, very important. If your your children yeah, prepare about the marriage, how wonderful they don't make a mistake. Shall you pray together? If you're a single man, a single woman, pray together. Lord, help us to find a good man, good woman. If you have children, you can pray for your children. Let my children marry the wonderful man and wonderful woman of God. Let's pray together. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this time. We give the all the glory and honor and power. Lord, bless your name. Bless all our children. Lord, anybody already married man and married woman, would you give them your wisdom, your understanding, your grace, and to be a good husband, good wife. Father God, anybody still single, man and single woman, give them your grace to meet with a wonderful man and wonderful woman of God. Lord, we thank you. Father God, remember all our children. Let all our children will grow with the favor of the Lord and to meet with a great man and great woman of God for your glory. We know that Isaac meditated the word of the Lord and he married with a beautiful woman, Rebecca. Lord, he gets us confirmation. Oh, God, help us to meet the right man and right woman for your glory. Dear Heavenly Father, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth, edges in heaven. We love you, Jesus. We bless your name. In Jesus' name. If anybody single or single man and woman, you can touch your heart, I can pray for you. Also, if your children are still single man and woman, you can touch your heart, I can pray for your children. By faith, you can touch your heart. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for my dear brothers and sisters right now. Especially if they are single man and single woman, they prepare to meet with the right man and right woman. The Heavenly Father, open the gate of heaven, and your Holy Spirit come up all your children, and they make it a beautiful family, and an example, and a good sample, beautiful example family, 
uh, for Jesus, for the Christian. And then some of our families, still our children are still single and, and save them and bless them. All our children marry the wonderful woman and wonderful man for your glory. Father, we thank you, you hearing our prayer. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. Thank you. Can you give the big club offering for Lord Jesus? Bless up in the name of the Lord. Thank you.